bits in the field. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I just put it, I had it at manual 100% there. Oh, so I see. Now it's, okay, it's actually doing control now. Now huh? it's controlling, yeah, 1500. Now because of the heat that that crucible builds up, it's going to take a while to come mm -hmm. back down, especially with no air. Yeah. Now what we found, this is something you could experiment with later. For example, let's say you did want it to cool down. You could just stop the fuel, blow the air, and let it burn out the fuel. Mm -hmm. And then you can have it relight. Because if that crucible is still cooking at 1200 degrees, just throw some wood in. It's going to relight. And we can do that really easy. We just throw it in a manual, turn the pellet feed off, and put it to 100%. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Right. do that right. through the HMI. We don't have to change it. Right. Because yeah, of, sometimes. Because of Justin's contribution. So, Sometimes you'll find that uh, you need to override what PID wants to do in order to do something useful. For example, we had a system at Intelco where we were controlling the heat of a furnace by only throttling the gas. It was an excess air furnace, so we were just changing gas. The problem was, sometimes you put in so much gas, it start to burn rich, and it would flood. Mm -hmm. So what would happen is, we put in more and more gas and the temperature start to fall. Your back looks yeah, great on my video. <laughs> so what we did is we programmed a, a routine into it. So if the valve is greater than 75% open mm -hmm. and the temperature is on the way down for more than a minute, it triggered a flood bit, mm. which all that did is just uh, basically shut the PID in manual mode, shut the valve to 0% for 10 minutes, let it clear out, and then it started back up again. So we basically gave it a reset. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's just popping along. You know, one thing would be...